started. Yeah. If you do, you need supplements. What are supplements for? Why are people, you know, they know they're not eating well. Why, why are we using them? Sure. In what we call our new normal, many of us are at home and we have both mental and physical stress based on the differences and the changes that we've gone through in a very short amount of time. We may or may not be working. Essential, essential staff are the ones who are at work. But if we're not essential staff, we're at home. We have our children. We are homeschooling and we're really dealing with things that we haven't done before. As we move along, what happens is our stress hormones go up. And in the case of our stress hormones, it decreases our immune system or weakens our immune system, as many of us have heard before and many of us know. So what we want to do is make sure in our diets and or supplements, we have everything necessary for us to have our body function as well as it can to be immune boosting or to boost our immunity to make sure we're able to fight off whatever may or may not come along, even if it is coronavirus. So, okay, so I get it. So what we're doing is we're trying to eat well, sure. but nobody really eats perfectly. So the supplements are just supplementing and that's why they call that, right? Sure. There's so many what we do. So of all that, there's so many. You walk in the drugstore, you, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming. What do you recommend in this stressful time? Uh, which supplements? Well, in general, I would say that most people need a multivitamin and a multivitamin is going to include most of the vitamins that we need. And then in terms of the others that I would recommend for immune boosting, those would be vitamin C and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And that's because the studies have shown that both of those effectually increase and boost our immune systems. Okay. So what results can I expect, you know, if I start taking this, what, how I feel? I mean, is, is it supposed to make me feel better, give me more energy, more clarity, or all of the above? So all of the above. Mm -hmm. In general, if you take supplements, you will find that you have increased energy, mm -hmm. a better mood, mm -hmm. better sleep patterns as well. And in general, again, you mentioned earlier, people don't get all the nutrients that they require from food. So if you add the supplements, then most often people will respond by saying they do again and have increased mood, better sleep, and just increased energy in general. So, so can you, a couple things, can you overdo it? Can you overdo the supplements and do they have a lot of interactions or, or what? Well, interactions are varied. So mm -hmm. you can overdo the fat soluble supplements, which are A, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. So those are the ones in which you would like to look at the recommended daily allowance based on just based literally the RDA recommended mm -hmm. daily allowance. The others are water soluble, if soluble. So if you don't lose them, you use them. Mm -hmm. So not often does one find any water soluble vitamin that would be at increased risk for toxicity mm -hmm. or too much in the way of a vitamin. Great, okay, so th that's all great information because I'm telling you as we, we sit out here right now, people are trying to get their bodies right. You know, people are working out. I'm seeing people running down St. Charles that I've never seen work out at all. And sure. It's making me nervous. So, um, but, but, but thank you for being here okay. and, and we will uh, we'll definitely have you come back. We really Alrighty. appreciate it. Thank you, my pleasure.